Hi Internet, uh, I'd like to show you a small electronic project I'm working on. So basically, as you can see, it's a USB uh, joystick. Uh, I bought it to play Street Fighter 4. Uh, turns out this is a really shitty joystick, it never worked. I uh, asked for a replacement, so replacement didn't work either. Uh, I had an accidental uh, refund, so I, I got the joystick for free, so I said to myself, why not uh, fix the joystick myself and uh, make it my very first uh, electronic project. So uh, it's the goal of the project to replace the uh, internal parts with my own board uh, and design and just make it work on PC and PS3 just like it was supposed to do. As I know nothing about electronics, I didn't start from scratch. Uh, I use this uh, this kit as an aspiration. So it's called a multi tool. You can buy it uh, for a pretty decent price. It's at a very good uh, good not, uh, notoriety. Uh, Everybody is very happy for it. It's response time. So I think to myself, hey, why not using it at a start point? So um, basically, I can't use the design as is because uh, there's a lot of modif differences with the, um, the the joystick I have. So I'll show you a bit later. So, but uh, I use the same uh, microchip, which is uh, the this one, the big. Uh, 18F2450. Uh, so um, this was my start point uh, for my design, and from there I had to learn pretty much everything about uh, electronics and big programming and uh, etc. And uh, here is my uh, starting point. So I first put uh, a microchip with a, uh, a crystal oscillator. Uh, just to make it work by uh, the standalone, just to see if I could uh, manage to program it properly. So of course, I used the official uh, microchip Picket 2 programmer to program it. So uh, it worked pretty well, a nice tool. The only big problem I have, I had with a uh, microchip tool is that it provides everything for Windows, but almost nothing for Mac or Linux and uh, as you can see uh, using a Mac so I had to figure out how to set up a complete uh, different environment just to uh, program this little guy. Uh, I found uh, the best compiler uh, that runs a bit on every platform is uh, SDCC so a small device compiler so it says it, it's uh, just uh, it didn't progress, it's not very stable, but yeah, anyway, it works very well as is. Uh, uh, a lot of projects use this. Um, but um, uh, too bad, yeah, it's not fully compatible with a microchip compiler. So you can't use a uh, microchip uh, code example as is with this. So I also had to find uh, another uh, USB stack. I uh, think this is the uh, interesting project. Uh, Perf, uh, speak USB framework, run some Linux, etc. Especially designer run SDCC. So uh, I use this stack as a start point. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, it missed HID uh, parts. Uh, so I had to implement uh, this uh, by reading uh, intensively uh, the USB documentation. So from this point, I add uh, my chip, a compiler, uh, USB uh, on for and uh, I managed to get uh, everything working for just one but button press. So yeah, great. Uh, now uh, I had to make it work uh, with a complete uh, uh, joystick and uh, make my own design. Before looking at the design of the board itself, let's look in oh, it's made inside the joystick. So here is the USB coming. You can see there's a, a front panel with the buttons and LEDs. 
uh, four-way joystick, pl plugs here, and eight buttons just there. So this is the original board which was in the joystick. The buttons were soldered directly on the board, so I had to remove it and uh, put wires instead. And uh, so this is the main difference between the multi tool I show you is here I have to connect to uh, an existing front panel so I have to uh, interact with it whereas the multi tool is only designed to work with simple buttons like this. So this was my challenge, make a board. So this is the actual board and we'll show you those data later. Uh, Link the board to both the front panel and jo uh, joystick and buttons. So this is the design I come with. So it's very simple. It's more mainly the, the microchip with a few capacitors and uh, resistor net. Um, all the buttons are on, etc. So there are very few components. And I said to myself, yeah, very few components. I'm going to make this... Uh, on this cheap little board, will be simple, and yeah, uh, big mistakes. So I'm gonna show you uh, the ugly thing uh, that uh, come, and here it is. Yeah, pretty ugly. This is it. This is where the chip was supposed to be. There was more components around, but I removed them because I I recycled them on the the actual board. It was a serial port and uh, yeah, pretty messy. So I realized there that even if you have very few components, it's very hard to design uh, this kind of board. It's more the number of connection you have uh, that tells you if you can use this kind of board or not. It's this one have a lot of connection. It was yeah, pretty ugly, pretty messy. So to trash. So after the disaster, uh, I designed a, a board just to uh, be able to um, send it and uh, make it done by a, a proper PCB uh, manufacturer. And uh, this is uh, the design I had. So it turns out it uh, turns out pretty well. It was was on first try, I was a little bit scared of the result, but it's really incredible the quality you get uh, for the money. So uh, there's really absolutely no reason to do it uh, yourself. So see, you can never get this uh, this quality two sided with silk uh, silk prints and etc. So I was pretty happy with uh, with myself. So. Uh, well, of course, uh, there are a few mistakes in this design, but yeah, first design must be uh, have a few things wrong. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy uh, with the result. So here is the board uh, inside the uh, joystick itself. Uh, well, yeah, as you can see, here's the front panel, etc. Everything is there. Uh, here is the serial port. So I recycle this part from. Uh, this piece here, so I try to lose a, a, a few a fewest components as possible on this on these mistakes. Um, well, so of course there's a lot of things uh, which are not perfectly designed. So first, uh, the chip is uh, on the wrong side, so I, I have to uh, unmount everything. Uh, I want to to uh, remove it, and uh, there are a few uh, missing uh, pull-up resistors. So I, I think I will be able to add them. I uh, uh, by a few hacks, and uh, yeah, on the software side there are still uh, some issues. So uh, the front panel is not uh, is not implemented, and uh, I have. Uh, well, I'm going to show you. A few uh, weird behavior on the uh, PlayStation.
So yeah, as you can see, uh, there are some pretty good, uh, pretty good response time. Uh, everything works fine. Yeah, show time. Yeah, except I get my kick, my butt kicked. But uh, besides this, it works pretty well. So as we saw on uh, the Mac, it works pretty well. But we really have some strange things here on uh, PlayStation. It's a bit. I don't know if it's random, but it also seems. Uh, things are, uh, you see, it's like uh, the coordinates are relative in instead of being absolute. It keeps crouching, now it keeps jumping, now it's in the middle. Same thing with the punch, it's punch kick. Yeah, I didn't figure out uh, which ID to give with each button for the console, so I had to find information on this on the uh, internet so if anyone know and something more about all this about how to configure HID reports properly well, I would be interested but for now yeah it doesn't really work yet so yes yeah, this was the presentation of my little project so I still uh, in the works, uh, very uh, a lot of things by doing it. So I hope uh, you found some uh, interesting things uh, in this. Uh, maybe uh, it will uh, inspire you to uh, throw you into uh, electronics and try things for yourself. So uh, yeah, if you plan to do something, you will do it. Uh, if you have to make a mistake, we we'll do them. You will learn a lot by doing them. And I hope I will do another video with it working. And uh, see you then. Bye.